welcome to a little video about 6b where we use um, our similarity rules to justify our similarities if they exist. So, before we talk about that, I need to go over, or I guess remind you, of this geometric rule or a fact. When we have two lines and they intersect as such, the angles that are across from each other are congruent. This is a great, great thing because it helps us with similarity. These are called vertical angles. The way I remember their name, although I don't think I'll specifically be asking you this, but in case I do, vertical angles, those lines form two V's when there are two V's connected to each other. Any way you look at it, the insides are equal to each other. So if they're across from each other, they're the same angle if it's, if it's formed by those same lines. Okay, let's use this fact. It's going to be useful. All right, number one. We have three options, side, 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 angle, side, and we also have uh, angle, angle. Now let's check it out. I have two sides and I have an angle, but this cannot be side, angle, side, because it'd be side, side, and then angle. That's, we don't have that, that's impossible. However, speaking of vertical angles, we have them right here. We've got two lines, crossing each other. So that, that means that the angle here and here are congruent. Huh, okay. So technically we can now do side angle side. In order to do that, we do have to check that they're proportional. Now that requires us taking out our calculators, making fractions, putting them in. We can avoid all that. How? Well, check it out. Well, this angle Q and that angle Q, they're the same. So is this angle and that angle. We have two angles, they're similar. So let's write that down, let's justify our reasoning. First, I'm gonna write down the easiest one. The measure of angle U is congruent to the, me I forgot the M for measure, to the measure of angle S. Perfect. Let's do the same thing for Q. Now, if you notice, Q is, uh, exist, exists in both triangles, so I'm going to have to name it a little different. The measure of angle RQU is congruent to the measure... <coughs> okay. Let's try that letter again. To the measure of angle SQT. So they have an angle angle similarity. Nice. Nice. How about this one? We only have one angle labeled B and D. We don't have any sides. Do we have another angle? Why, yes, we do. Check it out. We've got two lines crossing each other right here. Boom and boom which means we have a pair of vertical angles right here. Two angles is enough for similarity. Let's do it. Angle, oh, measure of angle B is congruent to the measure of angle D. And the measure of angle BEA is congruent to the measure of DEC. So, Oh, I forgot to color code that. Oh, well, we have another angle-angle similarity. Okay, let's check out this error analysis. Oh, did I skip something? I did. Which one doesn't belong? Let's explain the reasoning. Okay, the way I like to do this is I look at all triangles. I see that they're all different numbers, but if they're gonna be similar, then there has to be a proportion. I am going to use the longest side on all of them because I think that one's the easiest one to see. And see if there's a consistent proportion. Uh, where's our smallest triangle? 
triangle. This is our smallest triangle. I'm going to compare everything to that because they technically should all be similar except for one. All right, so I have a 6 and a 12. That's one half. Okay, great. Let's do the shortest side. 3 over 6, 1 half. And the middle side, 4 over 8, 1 half. I'm going to say these belong. These are similar to each other. So I'm just going to put a check mark next to them. Um, let's keep using that middle one because that will just be easier. Um, it has smaller numbers. Why not? Okay. So the, the largest side here is an 18. One third. Okay, let's continue. The shortest side, so we got three here, uh, nine there. Three over nine. One third. Okay, this is looking good. This is looking good. Medium side, that was 4, 4 over 12, 1 third, ha, this one does belong. Now, it says explain your reasoning, so we have to show that there's no proportion there. Now, I don't need to show the proportionality between these two triangles, because they are both proportional to the one in the middle of them, so they will be proportional to each other. So let's prove now that this last one doesn't belong. Again, I know the last one doesn't belong because it's the only one that's left over. All right. All right. So let me move this over there. Boom. Boom. Okay. So longest side was 6. In this case, it's 8. So if I do 6 over 8, right away, you'll see this becomes 3 fourths. Okay. That's fine, though. Let's continue with the proportions, because something will have to fall apart. We can't just stop there. It's not a one over something, but that, that doesn't matter. The proportion needs to stay consistent. Okay, next is our shortest side. So in our original triangle, that's three. Here it's four. Oh. Hang on a minute. Did I make a mistake? Well, let's check that last angle. It last, the last one, is, uh, last angle, last side, that's six. So four and six? Oh my goodness, what was that? All right, let's just check out four and six. Okay, okay, there we go. Two over three. There's our proof. It fell apart. That triangle does not belong. It's not perfectly proportional. Let's take a look at the bottom here. We have an error analysis. So um, let's see what whoever did this did wrong. Now they said ABC is similar to PQR by SAS. Hmm. It says it's wrong, but I see a side, an angle, and a side. I can 100% say that the angle part is right, okay? So the angle is the same. So what did they do wrong? Um, let's see the proportions. AB is going to be the same as PQ. I'm just going to mark that up. Okay, so let's see. That means 15 over 24. Can I reduce that? Yes, by 3. That's 5 eighths. Um, so then the other two sides, that's 18 over 20. I can reduce this one by 2. Oh, 9 tenths. These triangles are not similar. So what happened here, I'm assuming, is the person looked at the triangles, saw two sides and an angle, and said, Side angle side. I'm done. Alas, they did not check the pro proportions, right? So, oh well.
they got it wrong, we corrected them, and uh, if, if the person who made this mistake ever sees this, I hope that they now know their error. All right, and that is it for um, Section 6B. If you have any questions, please let me know. Otherwise, have a wonderful rest of uh, whatever day it is for you. Bye.